Hello YouTube and welcome back to another Dare to Game video. Today we're playing Red Dead Online and we're bringing you the Arthur Morgan Clothing Guide. So this one is going to be very similar. If you saw my Dutch Vanderlyn guide, we're going to be trying to imitate Arthur Morgan from the Red Dead Redemption 2 campaign. Now obviously you can dress Arthur however you want, but he does have a default outfit. He's actually got two or three default outfits that are most standard. And this one I'm going for is going to be the one that he's represented most often in, in like the trailer and promotional art and stuff. So that's what we're going to be going for here. Obviously you could dress him however you want in the campaign you could give him whatever weapons you want all that stuff but we're gonna be going for his promotional art appearance so uh we obviously uh as a disclaimer it's for some reason not perfectly imitatable for some reason rockstar has chosen to not give you the same options in online that you have in the single player story so this is the closest approximation i could make uh, but with that in mind i think this one actually turned out really really good so if you want to dress up like arthur morgan this is the guide so as always we're going to start off with weapons so for arthur morgan we have it at as plain Jane basic as you can be. I guess maybe not, because if you're going plain Jane basic and you're trying to be historically accurate, the standard combination that you would get with a Colt single action army, which is what the Colt uh, or what the Cattleman revolver in this game is based off of, it would have come in blued steel. So getting it in what looks like nickel plating, because you wouldn't have been getting stainless steel back then, it would have been uh, high carbon steel that would have been nickel plated would have been your option. Or you could have gone fancy and some people would have had gold plated or silver plated but let's be honest this would be nickel plated and the nickel in this game does not look like nickel does in real life so if we just look at that quick this is the nickel plating in the game that's that's not what nickel looks like but anyway so this is arthur morgan's revolver uh for some reason he goes with the short barrel he's got the standard wood grips uh no engravings no carvings all plain jane it makes sense if you think about his personality that this is the gun he would rock but honestly he only rocks one and it's it's as basic as it comes if you were going to do this i would still recommend i would probably even recommend putting the long barrel on even though he rocks the short barrel uh just because it's going to improve your range but i would definitely do the increased rifling improved iron sights everything but yeah that is arthur morgan's gun so if you want to do it that is one of the easiest ones in the game to do so let's move on to his outfit so this is our man arthur morgan and as you i think most people agree if you've seen arthur morgan or you've seen the promotional art i mean take the face aside because i don't mess around with the hair or the face because that's way too much work uh, way beyond my skill level too. I've got no patience for that. Uh, so I'm sure you could make your guy look a lot like Arthur Morgan. I haven't taken that time. Uh, if I really want to do it, I guess I'll put a bandana on or something and hide my face. Because then it'll look exactly like him except for the hair color. But this is his most common outfit. There's basically three variants of this outfit and I'll show you each one, but we'll go through this one first because this is his go-to basically all around the map outfit. So we're gonna start off with hats. And so for the hat, there's really no other option other than the Haraway hat, which is actually his hat. So that's why this one's the choice. The reason I say there's no other options is there's a couple other ones that if you don't have the Haraway hat are maybe kinda close, but none of them that really do it justice. So if you don't have the Haraway hat, I would just say this is your version of Arthur Morgan where he lost his hat. Uh, but so that's the hat. For the scarf, we do the black day shoot scarf. Um, again, there's really this one's the only one I've got so there wasn't really another option and this is exactly what he wears in most of the promo art uh either this or a black bandana so if you don't have the day shoot scarf uh I guess a black bandana would be fine but this is the one that he wears so that's the scarf so for the jacket I went with this version of the brown leather jacket and now the reason I did that I because I went through quite a few versions there's like the worsted coat has one that kind of looks like it I think there's an everyman jacket that kind of looks like it there's a few of them that I was like oh those are pretty close and this one's not perfect but it was the closest and the one that he wears in the game appears to be leather not not some sort of uh, fabric material it was leather and so this is the one I went with and I think this one most closely matched the color now the collar's not perfect and all that sort of stuff but it's pretty dang close and I think if you wear it people are definitely going to know what you're going for so that's the jacket like I said I went with this variant of the leather jacket the shirt was difficult I had a lot of difficulty finding out which shirt kind of matched his the most so in the game he definitely is wearing a blue striped shirt and I'm pretty sure it's this one I'm not certain but I'm pretty sure. Now, of course, he keeps the collar open, but if I want to have the scarf on, I can't have the collar open, so that's unfortunate. But I went with the this blue and white variant of the French dress shirt, so that's the shirt I went with. Now, for suspenders, which I do put on them because I'll show you later, I went with the gray and white uh, striped cotton suspenders, so these ones I'm wearing here. It's not perfect because in the game he wears kind of like it's got yellow in the middle and blue on the outside, but I, I couldn't find one that looked like that. So I went with this one because it's pretty dang close. So for belt and 
weapon equipment and all that sort of stuff. He only wears one. He's he's not a fancy two handgun kind of guy. And this is actually what his belt buckle looks like in the game. So this was actually the right one to go with. So I went with the dark brown woven pistol gun belt. Uh, it's not like 100% perfect, but it's really, really close. So I think this one works really well for Arthur Morgan. So that's the gun belt slash all weapon equipment. For the pants, I kind of went back and forth on a lot of stuff because I think the ones in his game are kind of like blackish green, like they have a greenish tint to them. But this is the ones I went with because I think they match what he wears the best. So it's these first ones for the stud and pants, the black variant. I think they look the most like what he wears in the game. So that's the pants. So for boots, we go with the very first variant, these worn black variant. You know, you could do the clean black, but his aren't, his are pretty worn in the game, version of the worn ropers boots. Uh, and these actually look exactly like his do in the game, so I'm pretty sure these are the boots he wears in the game. And of course he wears it Texas style, so you gotta tuck those pants into the boots. Then for spurs, we have the very spurs that he wears in those ones, and they're the Vaquero Rider spurs. So they're kind of like a reddish brown on top, and they've got the, the spur is actually just silver, and it's the spiky kind, not the wheel kind. So those, those are the ones he wears. So that is his go-to most of the time outfit. If we want to change it to his real hot weather outfit, it, all we got to do is take the coat off. We go no coat, roll up the sleeves. That's basically his his most summer outfit. Obviously, he'd have the collar undone, but if you want to keep the scarf on like he does, then unfortunately, you can't. So if you really, really want to go with this one, I would probably take the scarf off and unbutton the collar. So, so we say, do no neckwear, and then we go back out to here, modify, open collar. There we go. So that's, that's his summer outfit. Or if you want to go for this one and you were lucky enough to get it during the winter when it was available, you could do his winter outfit and just go with the Mormon, which is actually where you get this hat. So you can see we've got basically the same boots, same spurs, our gun belt still stays the same because that doesn't change with the outfit, the hat, and then his winter jacket and gloves. So that is three ways you could dress up as Arthur Morgan from the single player story. Like I said, you pair that with the plain Cattleman revolver, but that is how you do it. So uh, I hope this video was useful to you. I hope you found it useful if you were trying to dress up as Arthur Morgan. If you have any suggestions or anything to make any of the outfits better, or if you know of a clothing item that I don't know about uh, that would help, obviously let me know down in the comment section below. And if you like this video, I would appreciate it if you'd like it. Uh, and if you hated it, I would love it if you disliked it. But in any case, thanks for watching and have a nice day, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching another Dare to Game video. If you liked this video, please leave a like and a comment. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to the channel. If you like my content and would like to support this channel, consider becoming a member today for as little as $1.99 a month. It makes a huge difference. But in any case, thanks for watching and have a nice day. I'll see you next time.